Hello, everybody. It's Cheryl from Cheryl's Organic Food Forest. Today, I'm going to harvest some broccoli. I love, 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 can't get enough of broccoli. So, I'm going to harvest it and prepare it for the freezer. It is December 1st, and I planted these um, transplants in September, and they are ready to be harvested. My grandchildren have learned to like broccoli. I'm not going to say they love it, but they like it because they help me grow it. And children will eat more vegetables if they see it growing. I'm going to harvest some broccoli today because we got a lot of rain last night. And once you see your broccoli start to separate like that right there, and let me see if I can get my shadow out of here. Look over here. Don't. Look. Cut them off. Here's the bump one. It's separating. Cut them off so that you will get some really small little broccoli to grow back. Okay? And when they grow back, I'll videotape it and let you see what I mean. Okay. On to us. want to cut it straight across. You see, these two are harvested because they were separating. Okay, I'm gonna put them down here and get some more. So, here are a few more. This one started to discolor and it started to separate. So, I cut it straight off. And this one. I don't know if it's just a side shoot or separating, but I cut it off and I figure another one will grow. And you can see a lot of clusters here. Okay, so I will blanch these for two minutes in boiling water. And then I will immediately remove them out of the boiling water and put them in uh, ice water for a few minutes to stop the action of cooking them. And... This technique is called blanching, and I've demonstrated it before in previous videos, so I won't do it again. And then I will freeze them and take them out when I need to make soup or what have you. Now, I freeze the broccoli florets a little bit differently. I will cut them off. I will blanch them the same way, but I only blanch them about a minute in boiling water and cool them down in the ice water. And then I will uh, pat them dry with paper towel and I will lay them on a baking sheet. And I'll put the baking sheet in the freezer for about five minutes so that they can freeze individually. And then I'll put them into Ziploc bags. This way, your broccoli won't be too mushy for stir fry. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye now.